What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm talking about terrain. Terrain can be for D&D, &D, 40k, 30k, Pathfinder, Age of Sigmar, Fantasy, pretty much any miniature game you can think of, even hero clicks, you are gonna need some terrain. And today I'm gonna be showing you some creative terrain pieces, maps, pieces, maps, <laughs> that I came up with, and uh, I'm actually pretty proud of how they came out. So the other day, um, I was talking to you guys, both on, I believe I posted on the Facebook page, and I mentioned it a little bit in the previous video, and I was talking about cheap terrain that you could make on the fly, and I showcased one that involves literally some ceiling tiles, uh, rocks, and those little miniature plastic Christmas trees. That's really all you need to make like a snowy terrain. The images you see here are what I have for that terrain, and I think it came out pretty nice. Uh, you could do a little bit of embellishments by buying those craters that you could buy at your local GW store. Just paint them up real nice, and um, pretty much just embellish it with like any other things you can find. These little crystal rock diamond things, I actually found them at a hobby shop. They were just in a random bag for like three bucks, and I'm like, I could work with that. <laughs> so, just get um, enough terrain where like you're not gonna have like a big open space. Because with 40k or any other game, when there's huge open spaces, that kind of leads to just a shooting match. Nowhere to hide. Just whoever hits first, whoever hits the hardest, generally wins. But with all these little trees, all these rocks and whatnot, you got more hiding sp spaces. You can do ambushes, flank people. So it adds more depth to your games. Another thing too is that pink foam is your friend. I don't think pink foam is that cheap. However, you can do a lot with it. You can stack it, make modular ter terrain, uh, paint it, uh, put glue on it, add some snowy effects, or if you're going for more of a um, grassy place, uh, you can get some moss, that kind of stuff, make it look like a swamp. You can go all out. Uh, plas or pink foam is your friend for really doing like caves, rocky alcoves, stuff like that. You can go all out with it. Another awesome find that I kind of made up on the on the spot was go to a pet shop, Petco, PetSmart, uh, Petland, whatever your local pet shops are. They sell a bunch of awesome uh, set pieces that you can use for terrain. These things you'll usually find in like aquariums, terrariums, for like reptiles, frogs, fishes, that kind of thing. And they're, they're there to basically make your aquarium look nice, or your frog to have a hiding spot or something like that. And they have a lot of really cool things. As you can see here, I decided to go with like a Japanese slash Buddhist kind of temple. So I got like the little shrines, the Buddhist guy, the dragons, the trees, all from a pet store. They're a little bit pricey though, like... I think one of the dragons was like 11 bucks by itself, so it, it adds up quick, but if you're trying to immerse yourself into the games, if you're trying to make an awesome theme, uh, that's probably the easiest way to go. And then the mat that you see here, the actual floor for this theme, is actually a welcome mat. <laughs> I uh, went to Meyer and they had an awesome looking welcome mat with like the cobblestones and like it, it just really fit the aesthetic um in the middle it did say welcome <laughs> which kind of sucked but i mean you could easily cover that up uh which is what i did here with the terrain pieces but i think it just adds out of all the ones you're gonna see here this is definitely my favorite one it just looks really awesome and uh it's pretty i wouldn't say it's pretty cheap but considering the alternatives it's not too bad and it looks great and the last one was something that I figured I could work with. Um, so again, at your local pet shop place, they sell a whole bunch of like rocks and um, for like the bedding of your aquariums. And I decided to go with black rocks because they add a certain type of look that I was going for. And then again, I just picked some random aquarium plants 
some hiding spaces that you could use and kind of made it work somewhat <laughs> out of the three that's probably my least favorite one but I mean it looks cool still so I got nothing to complain the alternative for this little piece of terrain this uh, grid so to speak that I was gonna do was actually like um, they have rolls again at your pet shop places they got like rolls of like felt or some of them even look like uh, desert terrain with rocks already like glued on that you can just put on the bottom of like a like an aquarium or terrarium whatever have you that look really great uh, the downside to it is that they're wonky sizes like there was one that was like 30 inches by 23 inches uh, 35 inches by like 22 and a half I don't know why they don't just make it like a 3x2 or like a 4x3. That would just make things a lot easier. But I guess they're trying to accommodate the actual um, like fish tank and stuff like that. So you might have to buy a few of those and to put together, tape together, I don't know, to make it look you know, cohesive. But I didn't want to go that route because I'm like, I don't know if this is actually going to like stick or fit the... Uh, the space I had in mind um, so that's why I went with the black rocks so again when it comes to making terrain for your hobbies whether it's 40k D&D &D, anything like that um, this is a really good alternative instead of like going out and buying like dry erase board or like a grid for for example hero clicks you've got the the, 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 the printed on paper mats which are pretty cool but if you're looking for more like 3d and more depth to it this is definitely the route I recommend you guys take so if you guys have any other ideas let me know in the comments if you guys have terrain that you yourself make if you're saying just get a freaking coca can paint it up put some battle scratches and you've got like a, a pillar and you can make a whole city that way let me know down in the comments below um, also if you want to plug to like your Instagram or YouTube page where you yourself make terrain to let others know go ahead and put it down there in the comments and um, yeah there's gonna be a little bit more at the end of this video just showcasing some more shots of this terrain uh, but for now that's all I've got for you guys as always I'm the sound alchemist part of one mind syndicate and I'll be catching you guys next time peace